What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dead Build. A place where if you play with fire, you will get burned. And you will rub some dirt on it and get back out there. Alright guys, on this episode we're talking about finishing. You guys may have heard of unicorn spit. It is a gel stain. It can also be watered down into a dye. I've done a couple of videos on this red here before. This red is fantastic. It is the Molly Red Pepper. But today we're going to be checking out another line by the same company. This line is called Artistic Vivations and these are metallic stains. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know. If you don't, Follow me on Instagram. But I'm currently building a loft style bed for my son. This is part of it right here. And since my son is four, I just wanted to do something kind of like a little bit more whimsical than I normally would. What I want to do is experiment with some of these gel stains and see if I can get some cool patterns and whatnot. And since I was going to experiment with it anyway, I figured I'd do a video on it and let you guys see the results because I didn't want my first attempt to be on something this big where I might fuck it up. So per my usual, I've just cut up a bunch of pine blanks. I figure I'll do a surface burn on some of them, a deep burn on the others, brush the ones that I do the deep burn on, and then we'll get to the finishing techniques where we're gonna try a couple of things. Now kids, the only thing we gotta do is do this. So let's do this. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. I am in Houston, it is summertime. It is currently about 115 degrees outside. What are we gonna do? <laughs> We're gonna turn it up to 11. <laughs> nah. So quick pro tip, if you want to know kind of what your board's going to look like after it has like stain and finish on it, spray it down with some water and you'll get kind of an idea. It's not exact, but you'll get kind of an idea of what's going to contrast with what. Here's a board that I just brushed off. So if I just kind of hit this like this. See in here, see that third color that kind of pops out? That lets me know that I'm going to have darks. I'm gonna have light and I'm gonna have mediums. And that's what you want. You wanna have that kind of three color situation. So you'll have more depth to your final piece. All right, guys, so we decided to move upstairs just because, well, we meaning I, because it's hot as balls outside and it's cooler up here. I'm not really generating any sawdust or anything like that. So it's just easier to do it up in the office. And this way I won't like sweat off 15 pounds before the day is over. For all of these experiments, I am going to be using Artistic Vivations products. I'll put an affiliate link down below. If you like these products and want to try them out, go ahead and hit that link. Uh, it just helps the channel out a little bit. Also, if you're interested in any unicorn spit stains, follow that link as well, and that'll take you to those too. I'm going to be cutting all of the stains up here 50-50, unless I say otherwise, because first, I want to get as much mileage out of these as possible because uh, I want to be able to do these experiments. And if they work, I still have a full bed that I want to do. And two, for the ideas I have for his bed, I really want the colors to blend together. And I think having them watered down a little bit will help them blend a little bit. If they don't blend great, we might bring in a spray bottle and, and go that route. But let's get started. Shall we, kids? Shall we? Do you want to get started? Do you want to get started? All, I can do this all day long. Did you know he said that in the first movie and the last movie?
we doing, kids? Clinkies. Okay, so let's talk results. I'm gonna go through each one of these as quickly as I can while still giving you enough time to see them. One thing to note is I will put an image up on the screen of them before finish and after finish. The before finish ones are really shiny, so they, they're not as easy to see as the after finish. I actually use satin finish on these to knock down the shine a little bit because they were they, they were reflecting so much light that even even having a diffuser over the light and everything, uh, they were still just glowing. All right, so uh, so hopefully the before pictures you can kind of get an idea. One of the things about Unicorn Spit and Artistic Vivations products is they kind of get this uh, like haze to them when they are dry before finish and. At first that used to bother me and then I discovered that that's on purpose so you know that it's dry so you can finish it. So pretty cool. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what they look like before and after because sometimes you have to take that into consideration when you're going to finish a piece because they will change. They will get darker but you will also see more of the color. So just be warned. Also I'm not going to go over a ton of techniques because the two techniques I found that worked the best were either do two colors side by side and then kind of blend them that way or do one color and then kind of do a dry brush of the second color of the top of it. So for the majority of these, I basically put on one of the colors, let it dry or dried it with my heat gun. Then I came back with another color and just painted that on top. And what I found worked best was to just take a clean foam brush and kind of drag it over the top of it or a paper towel. All right, this first set of boards we're going to go through are the ones that were just a surface burn. This one is pink over copper. So I laid down a copper and then I came back and I dry brushed a pink on top of it. It blends pretty good. It gives you kind of that sunsetty look. I dig it. This next one is blue over copper. And this one is really interesting because I guess some of the board was actually showing through some of the wood grain because it's got this it's got this three-tone thing to it, but it really only has two colors on it. So either that copper kind of brought this, this yellow color out, or maybe I just wiped a little bit through the stain and got down to the wood, but it gives us this really cool three-color mix to it. Next, we have pink, blue, and copper. This was a uh, pink and copper side-by-side -side where I did uh, copper and I did pink, and then I blended those together, and then I came back with the... Uh, the turquoise and drug it over the top. So you've got, if so you get, again, that kind of sunsetty look to it, but it's got a little bit of a, like kind of blue haze around it. This next one is turquoise over pink. It's uh, it's, it's just okay. <laughs> um, and it's probably user error on my part, but it just, uh, it, I mean, it looks cool and it like, I don't know how well it's gonna show up to you guys. Like in person, it looks pretty, uh, it, it's, it's got some good nuances to it but it's just, uh, it's kind of flat versus the rest of them. And this one is a turquoise and pink side-by-side. -side. Uh, this is probably, probably my least favorite of all of them. Um, there was a couple that just kind of, they were kind of meh, but this to me is just does not look good together. But I figured I'd show it, you know, sometimes we, you think something's gonna look good and it just, uh, it just doesn't. So guess what guys, everybody makes mistakes. And before we get into the rest of the results, I just want to give a special shout out to my patrons. You guys are awesome. There's a lot of things I couldn't do on this channel without the support from my patrons. So I'll just shout everybody out down here. I'm going to give a special one-time shout out to Paul Stevens. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, uh, thanks for joining. Welcome to the fray. And as always, a special shout out goes to Nick the Greek, Stephen Mann, Easy e Derek Coates, I'm cheating, I'm cheating, Caveman Ross, Charles Faulkner, and The Weekend DIYer. Cheers to you guys, and cheers to everybody else that's still watching. All right, now for the results on the deeper burn pieces. This first one is Mercury over Pink. Check that out. It's got some really good depth to it. And the pink is almost really subtly coming through the back of it. I dig it. I dig it. It's fancy. 
And this one was really shiny before I knocked it down a little bit with the satin. The reason I'm knocking these down is because they don't look really great on video, but if you want to, you know, have it in your house, you can definitely go shiny with it. So this next one's turquoise. And I realized after the fact that I just didn't do anything with this one. So this is just a, this is what the, the metallic turquoise would look like on a deep burned or shishigi bomb piece of wood. And look at this, I almost knocked back uh, that stain a little bit with a piece of steel wool and kind of bring those blacks out a little bit more. This one's one of my favorites. This is uh, pink over copper. And it just, the two colors work really well together. Got that kind of orangey color. And then you've got that pink that kind of gives you that whole sunset vibe. It's just two colors that play off each other really well. Okay, we're almost done, I swear. Next one's copper over mercury. So the mercury is that darker kind of pewter color. So the funny thing about this one, and I think it's because of the color of the copper, the gray almost has, it takes on a blue tint to it. But it definitely looks really cool. It's got a really good depth to it. And as far as like metallics on wood, this looks really good. Okay, and then we've got copper over pink. So this is just kind of the reverse of the other one, the other sunset one. And these work equally as well, regardless of which color you put on first. It's kind of like what you want the prominent color to be. You want to make that your base and then dry brush the other one over the top to get the result that you're looking for. Okay, and this is my personal favorite. If you like one of these other ones better, uh, let me know in the comments down below. But this one is turquoise over pink. And for some reason, the colors just work really well together. They give it kind of this, this kind of rainbowy space galactic look to it. Um, I think it just looks amazing. Uh, this is probably what I'm going to go with uh, on Ozzy's bed or a variation of this. It's, it's very cool and very spacey. Ooh, spacey. All right, guys. And that's about it. I did want to shout out Artistic Vivations one more time because they did send those stains out for me to uh, to experiment with. And if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Ring the little bell if you're feeling frisky. And until next time, thanks for playing. And now I got to get to work.